Hi, this is Vanessa Duberle and welcome to my five day challenge of how you can launch your own affiliate marketing business. Now, if you're looking to earn money online and maybe you've dabbled in a few other things, I, I think you've realized by now that affiliate marketing is probably the easiest area to start with. Many people start here and then they branch off into other directions. Maybe you've done nothing and you have no, no idea where to start. A lot of the skills that I teach in affiliate marketing are the same skills that you could use in other businesses. So there's a lot of overlap in online businesses. Today we're going to talk about belief and I think this is one of the most important things that you need before you can get started. Now those of you that have been around you've probably heard this before but on top of that this is something that you want to hear over and over and over. We're going to talk about belief, why your why is important and focus and then we're going to identify our niche and I'll give you some homework at the end. Number one when you believe in something we usually believe in our mind and a lot of times um, when, when you're taught how to uh, maybe have a positive attitude or something, people will say, well, just keep saying all these positive things and then it will settle in your mind and you'll start doing those things. And I believe that's the first step, but you really have to bring it from your mind down into your heart where it really becomes a part of who you are. Um, I'm going to give you an example. A lot of times um, in my life, I was a teenage um, uh, mother and I remember at the time I believed that's that was my path I was going to raise my child I, I came from a family that that's just you know we didn't believe in abortion or anything and I didn't even realize people chose that so my point is um, I pers I went on to become a mother never looked back and in my mind I was a mom and even though I was young I, I look back now and yes that is young but <clears throat> I remember thinking that that's just who I was and now as an adult and I look back and see these young girls or, or you know young mothers they get pregnant and they feel like they don't have a choice and sometimes choose abortion and my point is you're going to act upon whatever you believe to be true and that's why that whole <laughs> area of debate I, I really feel like um, people believe you know just like even in politics people believe what their party believes and that's that becomes who they that that's who they are and um, you know you, it works that way in business um, when you believe in yourself and you believe that you can accomplish it and you take away all those um, unlimiting all those limiting beliefs about yourself then you can pursue and like I said you've got to get that belief from your head into your heart and one of the things, an exercise that you can do is think back to, to something that you did accomplish, something that you you did believe in yourself and you did accomplish it. And maybe it was just getting through college. There's a lot of people that don't make it through college because they they feel like they're failing and then they don't believe that they can. And then you've got other people that, you know, no matter what, they believe that they're going to accomplish this. So that's that's what you need before you can really pers uh, go forward forward in this business. Another really important part is identify your why. The why you have the belief, and that's what that initiates everything. But the why is what drives you from day to day because it isn't an easy peasy thing that you're going to do and a magic thing. You're going to make all this money. There is work involved and. You have to have that why that drives you. And I'm going to give you an, a, an example of, of why. Um, my husband and I, I've shared this story before, but my husband and I, we have a small farm. You can't see any goats back here today. But about three weeks ago, one of our female Nigerian goats, um, she delivered a couple of kids and I kept noticing that maybe she wasn't finished and so anyway I left her alone came back later and she still hadn't delivered so I called the vet I hadn't had never had this happen but long story short she had a stillborn and I had to literally become the surgeon or the doctor and remove the the stillborn from her and I've never in my life done anything like that we've had goats for four years and typically I've been pretty lucky where um, the, the does just delivered and, and usually everything was fine Fine. And my husband and the vet were saying they couldn't do it. Their hand was too big. It was a Nigerian. It's a small goat. And I just remember laying next to her, doing what I had to do, you can imagine. And my husband saying, come on, you can do it. And, and I just remember thinking, if I don't do this, she's going to die. And it was, I had never had that kind of a, 
a purpose before, that intense, um, before that situation. And I started thinking, that's how strong our why needs to be in our business. Like if I don't do this, and it's not so much somebody's going to die, but your life that you could have will die or you'll never let it be born and it's gone. And so in a way to help you with that, get a piece of paper and draw a line down the middle and write down everything on the one side, the left, um, what your life is right now. Um, you know, how is it? Is it mundane? You go to work from eight to five. Um, you're hoping to retire someday. I mean, pretty much blah, right? Maybe you take a vacation here and there. And if you do, you go in debt. Um, it just seems like there's no, um, I know for me with working, I always felt like I used to think the harder I worked, the more we would make and the income and, and, I come to realize that you're not going to make that much money. Even if you get into six figures, it's not that much money. And you're stuck there. There's always going to be that ceiling of your income. But if you look on the right-hand side, start writing down those crazy dreams that you really want. You know there's people out there that have accomplished them. Um, they have unlimited income. There is no ceiling. They can just look at their spouse or friend and say, hey, let's go take a trip, just go. You don't have to worry about asking your employer, you know, can I leave? You don't have to worry about your sick time and your vacation time and stuff like that. You can live your life. You wanna go see that new grandbaby that lives, you know, 14 miles away, you can hop on a plane and go down there anytime you want. You don't have to wait um, for the vacation. I guess this wasn't a good idea with the, the flies, but put that stuff on the right-hand side. Now, there's your why. If you don't, do this then you're going to stay on the left and if you do do it you get to accomplish the the right and, and your why is if i don't then all of that is dead to me and i might as well stop thinking about it now for those of you if that exercise doesn't work i had a, a friend or a book i was reading um and they talked about going seven le levels deep and this is a really good exercise as well and i know i'm talking a lot about why but it i know when i first heard it, i'm like what what do you mean i just want to be rich and i just want to you know have money so i can help my kids and all that it's got to be deeper than that and I, until i did this exercise um, i didn't understand that but ask yourself or have a friend say ask you why you want to be successful in this business and again even though you're not sure what you do know you want to make money online you want to be able to have that life of freedom um, just label it whatever you want or you want to get away from that mundane job that nine to five you want to quit you want to have your own life you want to be in control of your destiny whatever it is that's driving you and then have somebody ask you why do you want this answer the question and let's say you say oh i i just want to be able to help my kids get out of debt okay that's a good reason all right why why do you want to help your kids get out of debt and then go from there. And I want you to ask why seven times. And you are gonna be amazed at how, how that trickles down and it really digs in deeper. It's kind of like an onion. You keep taking those layers off and you're gonna get down to that core reason why you want this. And it may be as strong as the day that I was sitting there with that mother goat and telling myself, I have to do this. I have to do this. And then you're gonna to get to that feeling that you have to do it and there's your reason that's your drive all right so that's one part of your homework okay find your why it's really important number two I want to give you an exercise and teaching you how to stay focused especially if you're a woman we tend to multitask and I am not trying to generalize but in general that's how we are I guess I am generalizing some women are very focused so I don't mean everybody but in general um, Women tend to multitask because we're typically um, have many roles in our life. We're working, children, spouse, you know, maybe you're taking, or maybe you're older, you're taking care of parents. Um, most of the women I know multitask, they handle it well, they have lots of things going on. But what happens is when you try to focus on your job, you will find that you always find something else to do. I know myself. I like to be productive, so I justify those times when I stop focusing on my work for this business, I might be productive in another area. And I used to just keep justifying, well, I was productive, but it wasn't growing my business. So I really had to break it down and make my schedule into so many hours per day had to be spent in different categories. But one of the things you can do to think about focus, wherever you put your focus, that's what you're going to end up doing. And I'm gonna use this as a mindset type of thing. 
many of us without realizing we sabotage ourselves um, let's let's take weight loss as a great example because this is something we can all relate to but when you're trying to lose weight a lot of times your focus is on the fact that oh, I just feel like eating or I'm bored I feel like eating and you keep focusing on trying to stop those things like you might have a whole list like um, I know that I eat too much ice cream or I know I put creamer in my coffee and I need to stop and you're gonna bring up this list of all these terrible things that you do that you need to stop doing and you end up focusing so much on that stuff that you end up doing it did you notice that um, I know I have like I've, I've told myself you know I'm not gonna eat late at night I kept getting that uh, rule in my head so much that I ended up eating because I kept thinking about it so much. So you're going to do whatever your mind is focusing on. So what I want you to do is catch yourself when you're focusing on stuff like that and focus on the results that you will get from working on your business, even though you don't know what those are yet. But maybe you can think of your business. Uh, another exercise here I want you to think one year in advance and pretend that you've been very very successful this past year what does it look like and that's what I want you to focus on I want you to see it believe it reach for it and every time your mind drifts to those limiting beliefs those things that are going to stop you from succeeding go back to that picture that you drew and if you need to literally write it on a piece of paper draw a picture sketch it out whatever you need to do keep going back to that I'm gonna give you a little story there was a um, pastor and he took some boys out for a rafting ride and he was they went out to the um, the uh, out on the, the river and they went on a one of the level fours it's a little bit more intense and one of the things he told them that the water was starting to get a little rough and they had a guide out there and everything and one of the things the guides told them was I want you to follow my finger and look in the direction that I'm pointing and he said if I tell you not to hit the rocks then your mind's gonna think don't hit the rocks and that's exactly what you're gonna do he goes but if you follow my finger where I'm pointing and just focus on that and forget the rocks, then we'll make it around them. And I thought that was a really good piece of advice because it's exactly what we do. We think about everything we shouldn't be doing and that's where all of our focus goes. So therefore, that's what you follow. So focus on the what if, what's it gonna look like in a year and really map it out. And some of you might be thinking, yeah, but I'm kind of lying to myself. No, you're not. You're looking into the future. You're not lying. You're looking at something that you want to achieve and you're trying to pursue the path that will take you there. There's one more exercise I want you to do before I let you go. Um, but I want you, okay, now we're going to talk about your business. So you've taken care of you, you've got the right mindset, the right belief, the right focus, okay? So now you have to make a decision before we get into some details about your business. But identify your niche. And a lot of people say, well, what is that? Basically, in affiliate marketing, which is sales, there are three areas. There's health, the health industry, the wealth industry and then the relationship industry and if you look at sales you can anything you start looking around you can see that everything every ad you see every item you see for sale falls into one of those three categories so I want you to decide that before um, you go on to the next training because we'll have another training and I want you to decide do I want to do health wealth or relationships and the reason for that is you're going to be building content and of sharing information in one of these three areas and you don't want to overlap you want to be you want to target your audience and you want to let them know what you what your expertise is in and gradually you'll become more and more of an expert for example let's talk about the health industry you might say well I want health I've you know maybe you lost weight using keto let's use that as an example I know that's pretty popular right now um, so maybe you want to share your knowledge about that and how you did it and some of the things that you did and maybe as you start sharing that knowledge and you're seeking some products in the affiliate marketing area you're gonna start narrowing that down to become uh, smaller and smaller and smaller and it makes you more of an expert so maybe um, you want to share recipes in the beginning and maybe you find um, maybe a multi-level marketing company provides a product for people with keto I don't know a lot about keto so I don't know what kind of products to look for but um, if you went into the fitness area of health um, you could maybe 
um, go into the area with exercise and then you can break that down into women in exercise maybe women in their 30s in exercise and then or maybe women that just had children do you see how it keeps narrowing it down and that's where you become an expert so I want you you don't have to look to become an expert I just want you to look pick an area do I want to become an expert in the health area the wealth area or the relationship area okay so that's what you need to decide um, I do have a worksheet that you can print off and I want you to go ahead and print that off and fill it out before you look at training number two because you really need to do everything before you move forward now to build a business as an affiliate you need to have a platform or a place to build that business unfortunately you know everybody says everything is for free but there there ain't no free lunch sorry um, but there are two different platforms that I've used one is called funnelizer I have a link below for that and the other one is called click funnels I am currently using click funnels so any of my training is going to be based on that because that's the one that I like but I don't want anybody to ever feel like they have to use the same thing um, you're more than welcome to check out funnelizer and like I said I, I have a link there for you um, so take some time to explore the two different platforms and see which one that you would prefer all right so until um, we meet again um, get your homework done think about these things and it sounds like it's not a big deal but you will spend a lot of time unless you already have a business and you pretty much know what direction you're going um, that'll be easy for you but those of you that are really brand new and you're just thinking I don't know it will take a lot of thought and don't overthink it though don't let this stop you from going forward because I know in the beginning I was between health and wealth and I I kept thinking maybe I can do it all and really you want to pick one and really focus on it and maybe later if there's something else you see um, you can always trade um, but just just concentrate on one area for now um, and and let that be your niche okay um, nothing has to be in granite you can always change all right get your homework done and I'll see you on day two